so I see you're here today at the Neil Smith Prairie um, with uh, your raptor. And would you like to tell me a little bit about why you're here and who that is? Sure. My name is Kay Newman. I work with a nonprofit called SOAR. Um, SOAR does wildlife rehabilitation and education and research. So this is our education parent and falcon, Clara. She had an injury to her eye, to her left eye, so we cannot release her back out into the wild. So SOAR works mainly with raptors, so hawks, owls, eagles, and falcons which are all protected by state and federal laws. And so our education permit, um, we're only allowed to have birds that we cannot release back into the wild. And so peregrine falcons, she's a great one to talk about um, food chains and keeping poisons out of the environment. They were an endangered species because of DDT and insecticide that did a very good job of killing bugs, but it stayed very toxic in the environment for a long time. Affected the way they were able to lay eggs. Their eggshells weren't thick enough to get through incubation. And so they, we lost them as a nesting species here in Iowa in the late 1960s and had to do um, reintroduction to get them back into the state. So captive breeding and releasing young peregrines on their historical cliff nesting areas, and also in urban areas. So these guys are the ones that um, will use skyscrapers and tall buildings in urban situations to nest because it kind of looks like a cliff. And they are very, very good at catching pigeons. And so those <laughs> urban situations seem to be working out just fine for them. Um, and I did hear that the nesting pair of peregrines in downtown Des Moines are back. These guys are very migratory and they'll oh, leave for the news. winter time, but the pair in Des, in Des Moines is back. So if you want to see a wild peregrine falcon, the east side of the Capitol building in Des Moines, and there, there's a little nesting ledge that the DNR um, constructed for them on the building, and they're, they're incubating eggs right now. So it will be pretty quiet there right now, but in a couple weeks they'll be making food deliveries and taking care of babies. Oh, that's so, exciting. So very well, exciting. Thank you for sharing all this. Thank you.